Hello everybody, welcome to CCL Season 49 first round match between Gdynik and his 2000 TV Vampires and Guido Baggins and a very low TV box, 100 I think, um, Undead team in the booth with me is Fime and Dimitri. Hello. Hello everybody, here we have Nick's high TV Vamps with tons of skills versus a uh, very decent uh, and the team but not as developed as the uh, nick's vampires and vampires are a nightmare to play and nick is a very good uh, coach it's gonna be a uh, hell of a game for uh, the undead i mean the undead are missing one player um that all the undead team should have and that is a tackle pommer yeah yeah it's a big miss yeah, I was going to say like this undead team is about as good as it gets and then I, I looked at his whites and I was like, no, he doesn't have a tackle for him. Yeah, he just, it's, just gives you so much. And it, like, it's pretty mad. He's got two bribes and a wizard and set X. <laughs> Loads of inducements. Um, yeah, not even a mighty blow tackle. And that that is like, this is like the dream draw for Nick, I think. Like, I don't, I can't, I can't think of a matchup that he'd prefer. Yeah, this is pretty good, yeah. This is a pretty good one. He's got scoring threat. <clears throat> yeah, he's got a tackle call though. Yeah. And I did play the zombie with that with two bribes. Oh, he's going for the strength, lads. Gets him. Oh, is he AV7 as well? Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't have given him that skill up. <laughs> Interesting <laughs> decision. <laughs> yeah, why? Well, you know, Nick, Nick likes to give some uh, equity to his uh, opponents. Yeah, swashbuckling, isn't he? Yes. <laughs> swashbuckling. Puts the, yes. Oh, here comes the foul as oh, well. Wow. Double. Hi up! Oh. Oh. I wonder well, if Nick now... will just score here instantly. Stops him getting I mean, fouled again. Gets the touchdown on the board. He can just run up the right flank. Mm. I guess uh, the problem is, yeah, he gets fouled again, doesn't he, if yeah. he doesn't score? He could run after the edge five, couldn't he, and then just lob it to him. Like, you try to move the vamp first to see if he... Uh, nah, no, he's just going up the right. It's going up the right, yeah. yeah. Trusting in regen and the apple for the string five. Yeah. I mean, it's not bad, is it? Like, he has to... Like... Oh! 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 Lovely gaze there. Yeah. Yeah, playing correctly. I mean, th this this probably was the right decision, right, to do this, but I, I would have been a little bit tempted, to, like just you know, considering how far ahead he is, that in terms of teams, you know, maybe it would have been worth just banging it in on that. But... One is this is this going to be a first action foul? He might move one more assist in first. He might do, yeah. No, he's moving an assist out. I don't know about that. Yeah, I definitely would have. Oh, I don't like this. Foul. He's just not fouling him. I mean, that that was the biggest punish. Oh no, he's fouling him. Oh, he him. is, but he's taking me out of the way. Because, uh, like, the whole punish for this play is the foul, right? Yeah. It's a throw. Nice. 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 It's the Kaz. That could have been a Kaz vampire if he had had <laughs> a tackle. Oh, just a stun. That Shrimp 5 vamp has been amazing this game. <laughs> yeah, he has. Some high quality blood bowl from the Shrimp 5 lad. <laughs> if anyone was ever Mr. Foulbait, yeah. that is Mr. Foulbait yeah, right there. Yeah, 5 armor 7 vampire is about as Mr. Foulbait as it gets, yeah. <laughs> Genius from from uh, Mr. Gadanik. Yeah, change the throw out. Yeah, 
lovely. Yeah. The movement paying off. Hmm, vampires are better if the movement seven. They are, aren't they? He's got two of them yeah. as well. Mm. Dirty Dino. It's pretty sick. Can you imagine how good Nick's dice would be if he was an admin? <laughs> oh god. <laughs> it oh would god. literally break the game, wouldn't it? Could you imagine, right, an admin called Gadir Rick? <laughs> what? Uh, <laughs> there'd be no point in qualifying for Chalice anymore, would there? <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> Well, there's no point in qualifying for Chalice anyway, right? Glory doesn't buy kebabs. <laughs> doesn't, Jim. Doesn't. <laughs> oh, no, he's putting it in. Yeah. Hi, up! He's got oh! him! He's got him! He's got him. He uses the Apo. Yeah, he uses the Apo, yeah. Wow. See, my, my way of scoring wouldn't have wouldn't have had that happen, just quietly. Just saying, you know. Just quietly. But of course, like, you know, obviously stalling and scoring on turn four or whatever to give you, you know, it, you know, decrease the time they've got to make them a bit more pressured into scoring and stuff, or possibly stall at the half as well. Like, there's obviously lots of good things about playing the way played it but I really I really didn't mind scoring. Dimmy G Rick is the answer to that. Dimmy G My brain anal beads and I I could try. <laughs> oh my god. What is wrong with you HTK? <laughs> my brain is a potato. <laughs> Yeah, it's many things, isn't it? Funny many enough, things. there is a real story that involves something similar to the Anna Alvitz that happened in Las Vegas in uh, 1930s or something like that. One of the famous uh, hustlers, gamblers of the time, Titanic Thompson, challenged a chess player for a chess game. A top chess player, and the chess player said, oh, of course I'm gonna, you know, money on the line and all that. So the way uh, Titanic Thompson cheated was to put a better chess player on the sailing of the room so he could watch the play, mm -hmm. the board, and uh, there was a wire going all the way up to the leg of Titanic Thompson. So Titanic Thompson was moving his hand over the pieces and we get a, okay, I have to pick this one. Where I'm going to put it, which mm -hmm. square, mm -hmm. this one. <laughs> And he won. <laughs> wow. See, so you only have to bribe the guy running the casino or the gambling den they were using at the time and the pro player to be you know, on the sailing for hours yeah. you know before was, the game. Do you know what was really cool? I remember Darren Brown did a thing where he like played about 20 chess grandmasters at the same time. Um, and he like he did pretty well, but what he was what he did was he just literally like copied the move of the previous one, so they were all like kind of playing each other. <laughs> <laughs> like it's really smart. I love that. I thought that was his, cool. his name's definitely Darren. I know he calls himself Darren, but it's definitely Darren. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was so cool. I, th I remember thinking that was so cool. See hands don't buy kebabs. <laughs> oh, kebab mercy, yeah, yeah, yeah. Why aren't you called kebab Dimmy? <laughs> yeah, I mean, Dimmy, Dimmy needs a uh, kebab emote now. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's the it's the greatest food on the planet. There's no doubt about it. Glorious. <laughs> no, I won't give in. I even remember my I'm first ever kebab. And I will yeah. yeah, my dad bought it for me. Wow. Subscribing buys kebabs. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh, Gloria, thank you very much. Pistachio, yes, yeah, subscribing absolutely does buy a kebab. Thank you very much. Oh, yeah. That, <laughs> that could buy me a kebab, couldn't it? Probably. <laughs> a really good one with a. Uh, I know, I thought it was a level two subscription, but yes, even it's kebab, so yes, yes, a couple pounds will be more than enough for a kebab most of the time. I, chili sauce is the best sauce ever created. <laughs> I'm not sure about that, but uh, you clearly love your uh, chili sauce. Chili sauce is great. I mean, like good chili sauce. There's a lot of kebab shops that do terrible chili sauce, but when you when you reach when you find like the uh, <clears throat> the Havana of kebab shop uh, that do proper chili sauce, it's just out of this world. <laughs> this is a nightmare for uh, Mr. Baggins. Nick's just doing nothing, just standing there quite happily, and uh, it's like, go on. That's the thing with vampires and uh, this uh, versus this undead team, you know, that this team doesn't have enough tools to properly protect the ball. I mean, yeah. it's really, really, really difficult to protect the ball uh, versus. Okay, you can get, get rid of the vampires. Mm -hmm. That usually works. Well, the only thing you can normally do is kill all the fools, right? And then even then you're just praying them that they roll once. But the, <clears throat> I think Vampire's biggest weakness is speed, right? And then he's got two movement ups. And Undead aren't even that fast, are they? Like, he's he's faster than the Undead on overall. Yes, because Undead is a slow team. End of the day, you know, the, it's not like Necro have uh, ultra fast pieces. He's done all right here. Like, I mean... There's it's all right. He's keeping the ball safe, but he hasn't got penetration. Has he? he's got two turns uh, left? There's no way he scores now, like basically, because he's got to get that far forward on turn seven. That there's no way he can protect it. So he, he had to be braver this turn, and like you know, try and get down the cage to here or something. So he, he had less to go uh, on the next turn. I think he, I think he potatoes two goals and then looks for the handoff. So stays caged up, and I, I guess the gaze, the gaze, the gaze. Uh, is, is he coming for the ball here? He might be coming for the ball here. Might be, yeah. Yeah, and there's that tackle on the Shrimp 5 ramp as well. It is, yeah. Oof. Yeah. He's he almost comes. definitely coming for the ball. Can he score, though? What, what turn is it for Nick? It's 7, right? Yeah, this guy could score. Oh! Oof. Gets him. Sidesteps the correct way. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh, 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 where is it? Oh my, oh day. my god. Nick now, yeah. Absolute dice lord. How does the ball go from here to here? <laughs> just existing, just what? existing, you know, just, just existing. Dice uh, lord that's he is. And he had sized it as well. I mean, to be fair, maybe he could have gone to there, but um, either way, like, you know, he's, gone, he's going to three of his own players. Yeah, I think he, he went the side step to the right square, you know, the farthest as possible from the movement seven bump. Lots of his players around. That was an absolutely disgusting scatter. I think yeah. that might be one of the most disgusting scatters I've ever seen. Yeah. Gets a 2D though. Does get a 2D, but no scoring threat. Yeah. Or is that goal in range? Oh, well, set X in range. And he's strength four as well. Yeah. Not easy for him to get it, but I mean, you can run him down at least. Yeah. And he scored from there? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I think the goal's in range, the edgy goal's in range as well. He, he, should, have made it. he should have made one more, right? Because now he can just get pushed. But he wanted to be on the ball, like he wanted to be a tackle zone on the ball. Yeah. Don't always get what you want, though, do you? Oh, bro, what? Interesting, Bloodlust. Oh, he pros it. Oh, I hate pro. <laughs> I hate pro. Oh, he just does picks up. Yeah. Oh, he's throwing it. He's just throwing it. Yeah. Intercepts? No. Catches it. Oh my god. So you put in the tackles on and it wasn't wasn't great, was it? I tell you what, I don't I don't envy the 
the, the guys that have to play this swamp team. No. No, it's, a, it's a scary team for like bash teams. Anyone really, yeah. yeah particularly bash teams, because elves tend to out elf vampires, isn't that? That's when they're the slow. Well, they, they do when they remember to score Jim. Yeah, yeah, that's true. <laughs> that does help. Not naming names. <laughs> They're not dig into the past, you know, <laughs> they're not dig into the past. Oh god. Vamps are a great team to watch. Horrible team to play. I don't and know. Even worse team to play against. Yeah, I hate I, I really struggle with vampires. I'm not even sure I love watching them because they, I, I, I can feel the tilt like <laughs> it, it like brings it. me back. It brings me back to all the horrendous games I had against I played yes. like random boy in Rebel and that that like every, every time I see vampires it just reminds me of that <laughs> he had a very good uh, vampire team yeah. and he was playing seriously he was an absolute machine with it he's a good coach uh, random boy or random guy he calls himself now doesn't he yeah I think so yeah. I, don't, I haven't seen him around for ages like, he used to do a few bits in CCL didn't he but then yeah, did, yeah. Well, he was mainly in like blitz pits and stuff wasn't he was he yeah. He was. He's a rebel, though, isn't he? He's a rebel. Yeah, yeah he's he's a rebel. A... I'm pretty sure he probably still plays there. Yeah, yeah probably. All the, all the crippled thralls come in for the LOS. It's great. He's got an Ad 2 guy, an Armor 6 guy, and a Move 5 Ad 2 Five, guy. Five, two. He just keeps these terrible thralls in the roster just because they're still bodies, right? And you can still throw them on the LOS for like turn 8. So I love that about Nyx team. Oh, it's horrible. Challenge in two minutes. Uh, yeah, I guess. There's certain turns that are. Like, I wouldn't say like on the whole. Like, I mean, most teams like. But there's certain turns that, yeah, definitely take a while. Yes, I mean, playing vampires is very difficult for all that. You know, you have to consider that. But playing against them, also, you know, having only two minutes. To think you know what's always going to be your cage. Well, like the only, like yeah, that. the only thing you can do is build a wall. You either stay out of range of them completely, or you build a wall, and so they can't gaze through it. Like it's, there's not much you can do. But then the problem is, is defending the ball costs so many players that you can't push forward easily. That's the thing, isn't it? Yeah, it's tough. Yeah. So you, they're entertaining to watch because all the roles that are involved, you know, every single time, you know, the kind of things that happen every single time, you know, both last and all that, you know, having to depend on the roles. Mm. I mean, if you're able to play properly bumps, good bumps, in a one minute format, you can consider yourself very good at the blue ball. Yeah, yeah. The vamps in a minute are funny because, like, you know, yes, you've got loads of options, so like your turns are harder, but also your opponent has to defend against all your options, so their turn harder, their turns are harder too. So it's, it's interesting, isn't it? I think. Yeah, yeah. It's particularly interesting because I just say the same. Yeah. <laughs> With the two minutes, yes. I mean, any kind of you know time uh, argument you can have uh, for longer or shorter terms. With vamps, works both ways. You know, yeah. giving vamps four minutes gives them a lot of time to think, but also gives their opponent a lot of time to think, so... And playing bumps and versus bumps is a very cerebral game, you know, it's not like uh, other games that you're more or less used to play with, because after all, not that many people play bumps. Yeah, I think overall it's like a bad choice for something like Blitz Pit, just because... Okay, it's t it's mentally taxing for board players, but you don't want to be the one who's playing like, you know, six mentally taxing games. You know, you just want to be banging stuff out with with orcs or whatever, don't you? For like, but that's a lot easier in like in in something grueling like bits blitz pit. Yeah. Oh. Uh, it's all right. You know, the problem is uh, the bumps have a very deep bench. Yeah, a huge bench. He's got three. And they are two nil up. Yeah, <laughs> there is that as well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think the play here for uh, Guido is just uh, try to score as quick as possible. Use the wizard to uh, turn over and recover the ball. I can't see him getting anywhere. Mm. 
that's not the square. Breath. Bribe works. Bribe works. He is out of bribes. Once. I love it. Oh, here comes the. I love the pro into failed, but. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, and he gets the armor break on set there. Disgusting. Rude. Oh, HDK's posting chicken casserole. What? Mm. Sorry, Jim, I'll be right back. Oh, it looks good. Looks really good. Really nice. Really nice. That's a good, that one. He's only, he hasn't got no knife, though. So. Any? No, he's just got a fork. Proper mm -hmm. Neanderthal, isn't he? And he ah. and he obviously puts his fork in his right hand as well, like a. I eat with a uh, fork in my right hand, to be fair. I couldn't. I couldn't give a fork. Wow, Jim. Wow. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. Well done, HTK. <laughs> I bet it's really salty. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> oh, I god. didn't mean it like that, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> meatloaf. Well, I haven't tried making meatloaf yet. Fuck I'm you, Jimmy. One, oh, Fuck you, Jimmy. <laughs> Fuck yeah, off, Jimmy. Not, there's no efficiency here. <laughs> How else could you mean it when you say that? <laughs> Good. Oh, well, there you go, Rando, Rando foul. And a send off. This is done, isn't it? It's pretty done, though, yeah. <laughs> I mean, Nick just literally press end turn and it wouldn't even matter. Yeah. Yep. Like, he has to just throw caution to the wind and just start basing stuff with his mummies. Uh, honestly, if you're willing the one there. I would blitz and then not bite and just get sent off here and then just like, you know, just run away with everybody. I think it's a little early, like maybe in like... <laughs> in like two turns or something then. Cause I, do, do, do you remember the, uh, I don't know if you were casting Chalice then, but uh, Fiction did a Kislev foul with like one of his best players to get sent off. <laughs> and then Good ended play. up losing the game, like <laughs> he was winning. Yeah, he was winning like uh, three one with like five turns left, and then he got himself sent off on purpose, <laughs> <laughs> and then conceded two touchdowns and went to overtime and lost. Oh wow, that is pretty. Yeah, incredible. it was it was amazing. Like he was just like a turn or two early on getting himself sent off. Wow. That was a mental game. That was one of the best games of Bob I've ever seen. <laughs> It's on my YouTube, by the way, guys. Feel free to like and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, Fiction versus Soulmere. Mm. One of the best games of Blood Bowl you ever see. <laughs> oh. Did he need the second one? Uh, I mean, it doesn't really matter what he does, I don't think, to be honest. No, it doesn't. It was a trick question. <laughs> oh, was it? <laughs> no link in chat? That's a very good point to set out, actually. Let's get the link out. Wow. There you go, Sadar with the good questions. He's a, he's a good guy, that Sadar, isn't he? He's a lovely fellow. Not like us. Yeah. No. Not like us. Where is it? Ah, oh, here it is. Where's the... Oh my god. There you go, boys. 
Glorious. Not easy to score this, is it, for, <laughs> for Weed or Baggins? No. No. It's not been an easy day for uh, Guido Baggins. No, February the 3rd, so pretty no. recent. It was the season that you had off, like, because I that oh, must have disappeared and you weren't doing ch Chalice Cast, so I took it upon myself to uh, pass every game except the final. <laughs> <laughs> so, if you, if you want to watch every game except the final, they are all there. <laughs> <laughs> the dark days, wow, Tom Schnitz. No one wanted to see the final anyway. I think it was the one um, Mega Bonobo won, I think. No, I don't think it was actually, maybe it wasn't. I can't even remember who won it, to be fair. Oh, it might be um, Magikarp Wars, maybe, I don't know. I think the one game you casted in the whole thing was the final, and then, <laughs> and then someone else was um, like, was it Mr. Page was in it? Or someone else was in it, like who was really big, and I was like, no one's gonna care what I think, so Aww. I didn't bother. Mm, there's some great games in there. There's a there's a game um, with. Uh, do you remember Mankey's Nat Natty Werewolf? He had a Natty Werewolf at one point. Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember that. Yeah. Yeah, and it gets 1D killed by like a lino, a lime rat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, it's like 1D powered and he doesn't have, or it's a both down because he doesn't have block, does he? Because he's got like <laughs> movement, movement, short feet or whatever. Like, And it was hilarious. It was literally hilarious. <laughs> there's some, yeah, there's some quality games in that uh, season, by the way. One of my favourite uh, challenges, I guess it's because I watched a lot of the games, like... Well, you watch a lot of the games every single one? I do, yeah, I do. I generally have a pretty good memory of most chalices since I've started playing Blood Bowl. Like, there's a couple that are a little bit hazy and stuff, like... Like, I normally remember the teams, like, the, the players, do you know what I mean? Like, we've had some pretty amazing players, like Jim's Strength 5, Catcher... Dadle, Strength 5, War Dancer. Like, uh, casual, like, natties and pommers everywhere. Mm. Hey, for the season K5 one, it was a pretty good season as well. Mm. He's given himself two turns here. Yeah. Has he? Yeah, it's not that yeah. bad. With a whiz. Yeah. Oh, we want to see a really aggressive setup. Yep. Yeah, he's got a chance. He managed the score. So now, there is still uh, something on me on this game. Hmm. Yeah, it was the roller door, so I got the semis, didn't I? I lost the semi against K Fog and might have beaten him if he didn't have a natty, you know? That could have been, that could have been a Oh, yeah, game. I remember. I actually remember that game as well. Yeah. I had pummed him twice. Pummed his natty twice, didn't get him. Another, on another day, I cast him and uh, probably wouldn't. Oh, be. no, 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 don't set up on the line. Oh. You, like, this is terrible. And if the reason it's terrible is if he gets a blitz, he can only activate that one goal. Yeah. This, is, this is not the way you set up. But on the other um, hand, it's it's good in that it forces Nick to put his players here. But yeah, it's terrible that the, the goal should have been off the LOS. Yeah. yeah. And I hope he gets a blitz now just to sh highlight. No, we didn't coach you. <laughs> Glorious ducky. <laughs> I do like to vanity pass to a near loss. <laughs> that does ring a bell as well. Oh dear. Yeah, I can imagine Nick was very happy with himself. Yeah, because like, yeah, it just takes away the, the big threat, which is the blitz, isn't it? He, just, he counted himself. He counted it himself by him with his setup. Yeah, basing everything so they can't move, yeah. yeah. Pro strats. Oh my god, yeah, this the fucking spike. That was the, that was the worst thing I've done in Blood Bowl 2. The what? I just threw it I just threw the ball on the ground instead of to a player. 
<laughs> Why? <laughs> I just misclicked. I tried. I tried the vanity pass, and I misclicked. So I just threw the fucking ball on the ground. <laughs> Absolutely disrespect for the opponent. There you go. Half a chance. Eat half a chance. Yeah, this is uh, this is Danzo, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, when was that? I mi I missed a lot of Jimmy's early stuff because uh, this is I pretty recent. This is like literally recent. Like this is like last season or season. Yeah, last season I think. What did you play in Chalice? You didn't. Not in Chalice, Chalice just 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 in. Ah, oh, okay, yeah. I don't watch your CCL games. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, oh. Dimra. <laughs> what? Oh. <laughs> I watched a fair bit. I watched a fair bit. Good. Thanks. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I enjoyed the unflappable stuff, and then, and then, obviously that only lasted as long as it lasted. Yeah, yeah. Unflappability doesn't buy kebabs, does it? No. It sure doesn't. Well, no, it did actually. It did. And then once the Whoa. kebabs, once the kebabs were were paid for, that's when the flappability <laughs> resumed. <laughs> once you get the kebab, there is nothing else to fight for. And uh, I want to I want to give a top tip to anyone who orders kebabs is when you order a kebab you always order an extra pitta. If you're not ordering an extra pitta with your kebab you're doing it wrong. Dobe advice from the master. Big cast there, but obviously too, you know, for the it would have too been little, too, too late. Too late. Yeah, yeah. If this yeah. is two more turns early, like if this is two turns earlier. Like, you know, Nick would probably get out of it, but he'd at least be in a pickle, whereas now it's just not even a pickle, is it? Wait a second, uh, Guido it's still has the, wizards. The, the, the wizard. Yeah, so, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, if, there is a lot of pieces that are in the scoring range. Mm. So, he can't, he can't even go to the, uh, like, the touchdown corner, because then it gives him the scatter out, right? The... Yeah, he's got a, But he's got so many people free, he can just, he can easily defend it. Yeah. Oh, where's the edgy goal? Oh, he's the. Oh, that's not good bloodlust. Oh, he gets, he gets sent off, doesn't he? He just gets him sent off, surely. I can bite that throw, the stun throw. Yeah. Oh, the one on the floor, yeah, I didn't yeah. see him. He was hidden behind all the skills of that other vampire. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. It doesn't matter because he was, he was stunned. Yeah. Is Jim Mr. Tato confirmed? Jim played against Mr. Tato, I think. No, did... I didn't. I didn't. Oh, Elliot played against Mr. Tato yeah, like three he times. Him a few times. Yeah, yeah. I did not play against Mr. or Mrs. Tato. There I'm is no chance uh, Jim was Mr. Tato because he. Barely... Oh. oh my God! Man. Christ. Because he barely uh, plays Blood Bowl with his regular account, he's not going to start an alt account. Hmm. Yeah, you, have you ever had an auto account, Jim? No, because I, I don't know my password. I so, don't know mine either, yeah. So if, <laughs> so if, I, if I had signed out, I'd never be able to sign back in. <laughs> For God's sake. <laughs> oh, God. No, I tell you. You've reset it, surely. I'm pretty sure I've reset my blood bulb password before. You need like the help of Gary or whatever because they don't they don't save your emails or anything, so Gary Gary on Oh Is that a level? No. Um, I think Guido Baggins, uh, what, what, how how you could have played better in this patch was having 400 TV more of skills on the team. <laughs> like the, yeah. the the just mismatch in the teams was huge, wasn't it? Um, yes, it was a brutal mismatch and uh, against a brutal coach. So there is nothing to be feel bad about of uh, Guido Baggins, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I did. I did not envy your task. Yeah. No, no, it was a really harsh uh, matchup. Yeah, yeah, there's just like. You just needed, like, a much better team. <laughs> like, a much better team. And, yeah, there's no real criticisms, honestly. You can watch the VOD. A rare occasion yeah. when where you can watch the VOD. Uh, but, there, yeah, there wasn't much criticism because, like, what can you do, you know? Like, it's. Yeah, it's I guess, yeah, I guess I played more in the regular season, so he had a tackle, mighty. 
at least at least a tackle mighty preferably a tackle palm on on one of the right whites that's like that's pretty much it right there like without without yeah, a tackle yeah, palm a tackle palm yeah. gives you an opportunity to win that match you'd still you're still a massive underdog but at least you can do something without that yeah. you just pissing in the well, wind. Well, we have seen games where, uh, you know, white with tackle form can delete a whole team. Yeah. yeah. The um, the all man's LOS was a bit iffy as well. Oh, yeah, it, yeah, 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 yeah. You got, if you got a blitz, then you've just wasted it because uh, you can't move anyone because all Nick has to do is tag every player on the line like he did. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. There should have been a, a second, like a front row and a second row, right? With the more responsive players one square back at least so that they could have the blitz. So, yeah. Yeah, so the thing the team uh, as for CCL was very good because <clears throat> no bloating, something like that. But when it comes to the cap, yeah, you need a extra amp on the team. Yeah, that, that's always a problem with undead, right? They're great on ladder, but then they're a bit shit in the cup because they're they're up against. Also, the teams. Uh, yeah, for they have won it though. They've won it a couple of times. They have, yeah. They're fine. They're, they're still like they're still fine. Like they're still TV efficient and stuff. But I'm I'm pretty sure like they've won it probably three or four times. But I know um, Singolo's won it with them and uh, McCloakin or Mega Bonobo. They've both won it with undeads. Yeah, and um, uh, at least. But I'm also pretty sure that everyone who's won it has had a tackle palmer. <laughs> yeah, I, I, yeah, I'd say I, 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 without knowing, I would say yes. They probably both do. Yeah. yeah. Um, so there you go. Yeah, the problem with being aggressive is like you know when you've got four turns or whatever to score, four or five turns to score. You know, it's hard because you've got to protect the ball against the vamps. Yeah. And then and then you know like I think there should have been a, a more concerted push, but again it's easy to say that you know it. it, it might have taken it's a lot terrible, of dice yeah, rolls, but yeah. you it, might have lost, lost three nil. <laughs> like, but, well, yeah. I mean, it still ended up the same way, right? Like Nick still ended up scoring anyway, but like I think you had to take risks earlier in the drive so that you could just get the, down the field because otherwise, the, like, it was never it was never going to end well that drive because it just didn't didn't get the penetration, and so you really had like it's but it's hard because if you if you don't defend the ball properly, they'll just fucking carve you open and you, steal um, the ball, which he did, didn't he? In the end, like he he did, he didn't. It wasn't even hard for him to steal the ball. He got the strength five, and then he got the worst scatter ever, <laughs> or the best scatter ever for Nick. Like, it was just a lot of bullshit, wasn't it? Really? What do you reckon on chevrons for the opening setup? Um, I've got no idea. Well, it's just because like. Oh Nick's yeah, because he could he could have gazed, gazed and surfed. Oh all right. Is that what you're saying? No, no, no. I meant chevrons like for the first turn of the game because he obviously he was on defense first, wasn't he? And he did the rule of five kind of set up, and Nick just ran down the flank. Yeah. Well, he, he ran and down like, him as well because of the foul as well. Gonna... Like, he did the foul, didn't he? Which, which, like, which invited him to just fuck off down the other side and give him a free yeah. stall. But I would have even, I wouldn't have even hated scoring as Nick there. I really wouldn't have just to stop the edge five, like just to stop the strength five getting fouled. So it was oh, totally hard right, to keep fouling. Yeah. 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 I mean, to be fair, like, I don't, I didn't hate the foul, but I thought. The first, it should have been the first action of the second turn, like, and then moved everyone else. Do you know what yeah, I mean? You just leave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, yeah, if you've yeah. got a bribe, you foul. Like, the whole point of the bribe is you can foul out a sequence, so you can foul first action, especially with two bribes, yeah. and, then, and then move everyone else away. But you moved everyone away, and then moved a couple of guys in, and those couple of guys are staying there. Yeah, exactly. It, well, it yeah, was, I like uh, the foul. I like I like the foul set. I, I I thought it was correct, but I just thought he should have done it straight away. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Like that's the thing is that there's not really a lot apart 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 from the blitz. Like the, yeah, that, that that's a good point. The the all men's on the LS was was objectively shit <laughs> and wrong, and like it just was. It was that was absolutely shit because it it was robbing you of the one chance you had, and it was a slim chance. You know, it was a really fucking slim chance. You've got to roll a blitz, and then you still like haven't got tackle and still haven't got strength, and like still can't do a whole lot if you get the blitz. But it was the only chance you had, and then and then that was taken away by the setup. So yeah, that was the that was the only real bad thing, and everything else is was just yeah. it was just having a much worse team. Um, Next time, don't uh, get a draw versus Gedeinik. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't draw Gedeinik. That, that, that was a mistake. That was a mistake in the, you know, uh, qualifying. 
I mean, to be fair, I drew the only team that I could beat, and I still lost to them. <laughs> <laughs> Literally had the best draw ever and still lost. <laughs> Unbelievable. Yeah, I mean, that's the that's point as well, just fucking around like it was. But he's armor 7, isn't he? So it's really tempting to go for an armor 7 strength 5 bump. Like, how do you not foul that guy? Like, it's, he's very... Yeah, yeah, I would 100% foul it. It was, uh, like, easy. Like, because you, when you take the two bribes, like, that is your game plan, right, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So. In, uh, undead, undead don't get chainy, do they? Well, undead no, do they get chainy. No, they, they, they do uh, in Blood Bowl three, but not in Blood Bowl two. Uh Yeah. Yeah, and then it's just Setek, and there's not really anyone else, is there? There's like Eolus, and that's it, isn't it? Or something. Mm. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Look, look. I... They got Ramto, haven't they? They got Ramto and the Count, but they just. Both... I mean, Ramto's not great so in this matchup. I don't think. No, no, not enough for this matchup. It's yeah. terrible, but like. In general, like, they've, they've got some options for a little bit shit. I mean, maybe it's could have gone with Draken. The armor you know. 7 is also Nigel, so yeah, that was, a, that was a brilliant target for the foul then. They can um, get a chainsaw, right? Yeah, that's a bit shit. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, it's, but it's like, it is a way of Blitz and a Blodger, isn't it? It that's is. The thing. It is. But there you go, anyway. Congratulations, Gdynik. Commiserations, Guido Baggins. Thank you very much. Dimmy and Fimey, absolutely glorious as always. Always a pleasure to be here. Remember, glory doesn't buy you kebabs. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic. <laughs>